I think I'm gonna see a girl. Well, I'm a gamma man now. It's kind of fell that way, that's all. <laughs> Get out of the way. I really want you to look around trying to buy me some beef when you're doing, well, what you're doing. Why? Why? Because we're dang near out of meat, that's why. The whole train is. All right, Charlie, if I see any cattle, I'll tell them to look you up. McCullough, I'm serious. So am I. Well, give me your name. Wait a minute. We're gonna be in serious trouble. We're gonna run out of meat around here in a few days, you know. I'm going to be in more trouble if you don't get out of the way and let me do what I get paid for. Now, I'll see you in a few days. Bill, see you. Come on. we got to get some meat. You know that? Charlie. The only thing he thinks about is chasing Indians and women, and mostly women. Charlie! Don't yell at me, I ain't deep. McCullough's on his way to a place called Maddoxville right now to buy some beef. All the more reason why he should look around buy me some beef. Buy beef? That's what I said. The Major told him to look up a big rancher by the name of Ben Maddox. Why didn't McCullough tell me this? Oh, he wanted to hear you yell a little, I guess. I ain't yelling, but I'd just like to know what's going on around here once in a while. You two think you're smart, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, to me, you're just a couple of young upstarts, and you should have to do your own cooking. For two cents, I'd quit this job and let you starve to death, both of you. Hey, Dave, I'll give you the two cents. <laughs> feel a little better too. soon. Laura said you had something for me. Don't see anything. That's what I brought you. 
That's the one that did it. Did what? Killed Jane Hawkins. You killed her? You wanted her dead, didn't you? I wanted her to hang in the town square where everybody could see. Next time I send you to find somebody to fetch him to me, you fetch him to me. If I want you to do anything else, I'll tell you. Don't start entertaining any idea that gun of yours is bigger than Ben Maddox, because it ain't. Where'd you leave her? Right where she fell. You go back and get her. Get her? You go back and get her and bring her into town. Take her through the streets where folks can see who it is. Leave her at docks. You sure you killed her? I ain't never missed yet. All right, get riding. It's gonna be dark before long. <laughs> Shot, ma'am. She meets a duct. Oh, the poor child. Mort! Wait. What's wrong? That's Jane Hawkins. Take her away. What do you mean, take her away? She needs a doctor. The doctor isn't here. I just heard you call him, ma'am. Can't bring that girl in here. Who is it, Abby? Mort, it's, it's the Hawkins girl. She's got a bullet in her. Are you the doctor? Yes. Are you going to tell me I can't bring her in, too? Who are you? I haven't got time to tell you right now. This girl needs attention, and she needs it now. Right in here. I don't know how long she'd been lying there when I found her, but I know that right couldn't have done her any good. Oh, I'm, uh, 
I'm Flint McCullough. I'm in town to buy some beef. I'm supposed to look up a man named Ben Maddox. Judging from the name of the town, he won't be hard to find. Because Maddox did this. Or well, more than likely one of his men. Why? She killed his only son, Ted. You didn't do yourself any favor by picking her up, mister. Now, us by bringing her here. Now I understand why you were so afraid. He owns this whole range and everything in it. Including the people? She's lost a lot of blood. She's running a little fever. Is she going to make it? Sure. Sure, with a little rest. Oh, she can't stay here. I know, Eddie. Well, I'd be glad to take her wherever you say. She got a family somewhere? I'm afraid she hasn't even got a friend anymore in Maddoxville. Well, if she's killed this man like you say, then the jail ought to take care of her. There is no jail in Maddoxville. You mean there's no law here at all? Even the U.S. Marshal wouldn't dare invade Ben Maddox's territory. I see. There isn't a family in town would dare take her in. Then we can't do it either. You've got to take her away. Now, wait a minute. This isn't my battle. I don't even know this girl. I'm in town to supply a wagon train. Besides, you just heard your husband say that she shouldn't be moved. But she can't stay here. I'm afraid she's going to have to. I'm afraid you don't understand. I think I do, Doctor. When a doctor is willing to turn out his patients, it's to save her life that she's got to be moved. Ben Maddox would find her here and he'd hang her. And he'd hang us, too, for trying to hide her. Is that what you want? Maybe... Maybe you could take her away in your wagon train. She could travel in a couple of days. Well, what am I supposed to do with her until then? Hide her. I'll help you. There's an old abandoned ferry boat down by the river. We'll give you food and blankets. It's the only way. Please. Don't shoot. Jesse. Please, Jesse. Jesse, who's that? One of Maddox's men, hired gunman. You're all right, Jane. You're all right now. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill Jane. Jane, it's Doc Hicks. You're in my office. You're safe. Don't be afraid. Jesse! Where's Jesse? He's not here, Jane. It's just Evie and me, the man who brought you to us. He saved your life. He's going to stay with you till you're better. Don't be afraid. I'm going to try and help you. Why would you want to help me? Because, because nobody else will, I guess. You can trust him, Jane. You said you didn't kill Ted Maddox. Is that true? Why would I kill him? I loved him. I loved him. All right, Doc, how do I get to the ferry? Get some things together, Abby. I'll hitch up the wagon. Be easier riding for her that way. Somebody picked it up and moved it. Took it into town. I spent most of the night following the tracks of the horse. Where'd they lead? Uh, just into town. That's all I know. You can't pick one set of tracks out of all the others in the street. You said you killed her. I did. And she'll be at Doc's office for embalming. If she's dead, nobody will have to hide her. And I'll look there. Jesse, you'd better find her. Because if you don't, your life won't be worth much more than hers. <laughs> I don't know why you're helping me like 
like this. If I find out you killed him, then I'll help you as far as the first United States Marshals are. Why don't you just turn me over to Ben Maddox and save yourself the trouble? Because whether you're guilty or not, you deserve a trial. From what I know of Maddox, he won't give you one. I'm not guilty. Well, if you're not, have you any notion who is? I don't have any idea who fired that shot. Or even who'd want to kill Ted. He wasn't like his father. Everybody liked him. Did his father approve of you? No. We had to meet secretly. Usually in my room in back of the saloon where I worked. I was a waitress. That's where it happened. It's about midnight. Ted was just getting ready to leave. I was in his arms. He was kissing me. A shot came from outside through the window. Struck him in the forehead. When the people who heard the shot came inside, I was kneeling beside him. Is that what they thought you did? The gun was on the floor. Someone had thrown it through the window. It was Ted's Derringer. They said I must have taken it out of his vest pocket, but he wasn't carrying it. How do you know? He never carried it unless he was dressed up and not wearing his forty-four. This night he was... Wearing his holster. Somebody else must have had his derringer. How would they get it? I was from the ranch, I guess. You don't believe me, do you? You haven't given me much reason to yet. You're just like the rest of them. I was so sure I'd done it, so busy agreeing among themselves that I just got up and walked out of the room. Well, go on. Why should I? Because I have a right to the truth. I want to know that I've got a good reason for taking care of you instead of my job. But, Jane, I want to believe that you're innocent, but you've got to help me. I'm sorry. So used to people being afraid of Ben Maddox. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rough with you. You're hardly in any condition. Let's talk about it tomorrow. No. I'm all right. I'd like to talk about it. All right. Who'd be able to get into Ted's room without being seen? Just his father and Laura, I guess. Laura? Who's that? His sister. They wouldn't have done it. Laura and Ted were closer than any brother and sister I'd ever seen. His father loved him, too, in his own way. They'd have had no reason to have done it. They had a reason to shoot you. What do you mean? To keep you away from Ted. What if that bullet had been meant for your back instead of him? I mean, if he was holding you in his arms and he was facing that window, then your back must have been to it. And Mattis could just run you out of town. That... That leaves the sister. Laura wouldn't have done that. She was my friend. Oh. She came to me once. She warned me that her father was getting suspicious about Ted and me. She was even there when we made our plans. What plans? We were going to get married. Without anybody knowing. Laura was going to help us. 
She had no reason to want me or Ted out of the way. Well, somebody sure did. Oh, well, maybe I can get the answers to some of these questions in town tomorrow. You can't ask questions about me. Ben Maddox would hear about it and you'd be in as much trouble as I am. Not if I have a right to inquire about you. How'd you like a new relative? What? I said, how'd you like a new relative? Here, I swear it. Well, go ahead. Search the house. Look for yourself. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Jane Hawkins. Well, you don't know anything. She was brought into town with a bullet in her tonight. Dad had just wounded. This is where she'd be brought. There's nothing we can tell you. Well, I think there is. I'm quit wasting my time. Leave him alone. Now talk. Please don't. I'll tell you. Emmy, be quiet. Well? She was here. A man brought her. Who? Oh. I don't know. Just a man. Dead? No. Wounded. I suppose you fixed her up. What was I supposed to do? I'm a doctor. Where is she now? We don't know. He didn't tell us. He just left. If you're lying to me, I'll find out. And I'll be back. Lord, I had to tell him. It'd have been better if he'd killed us both. Don't say such a thing. Why not? Look what we've done. Look what we are. Look what we've let Ben Maddox make of us. She's got to be here in town someplace. Search every building and every house till you find her. And bring her to me. Alive. Everybody's staring at him. What about Jane Hawkins? I'd like to see her. She works here, doesn't she? No. 
It's funny. I got a letter that said I'd find her here. She wrote you? Yeah, I'm a cousin. Cousin? As a matter of fact, in her last letter, she told me she was going to get married. Marrying a fellow by the name of uh, Maddox. Ted Maddox. Wow. You sure she doesn't work here? She used to, but she left. Well, do you know where I might find her? I hate to come all the way out here and then not see her. Well, uh, she didn't say. I see. Mister? He's speaking to me? What's your name? McCullough. What's yours? When'd you get into town? I just rode in. Why? You sure you didn't get in last night? Not sure you hear well? When did you see Jane Hawkins last? About eight years ago. You sure that wasn't last night, too? Do you know anything about my cousin? <laughs> Not a thing. Well, then don't interrupt my conversation with this gentleman again. <laughs> You better backtrack quick on what you said, mister. That's a hired gunman. Turn around, mister. You got any more to say to me, you come over here and say it. Now, what about Jane? You know anybody in town who might know where she is? What about the Maddox fellow? You gonna face me, mister? Or do you want to take it in the side? I didn't come in here looking for trouble, mister, and I'm still not looking for any. So stop bothering me. As a matter of fact, get outside. You can pick up this gun when you're in a better mood. Town, mister. The name's McCullough. Flint McCullough. Listen to me. That man's a dangerous killer. As soon as he gets another gun, he'll be back. You know anybody that might tell me where I could find Ted Mannix? Look, you seem like a nice enough fella. I'd like to help you. And I'll tell you all I know if you'll get out of town as quick as you can. Then you do know something about Jane. Jane left here because she killed Ted Mannix. His old man, Ben, has got his ranch hand scouring the territory looking for her. And the fellow you just ran out of here, he works for him. Ben Maddox runs his whole range. And you could get yourself killed just asking questions about Jane Hawkins. Hard to believe that a girl like Jane would kill anybody. You'd better believe it, McCullough. Leastways, do your thinking about it someplace else. Why should she kill a Maddox boy? She was in love with him. I don't know any more about it than I've already told you. Anybody see her do it? No, but I was in the room right after it happened. Right back there. Ted was dead. The gun was on the floor and she was bending over him. That doesn't prove that she did it. It does to Ben Maddox. And that's all that counts around here. Now, will you get on your horse and ride out of here? No. I mean, I can hardly leave town with folks thinking that my cousin killed a man, can I? What can I say to make you understand that it doesn't matter what anybody else but Ben Maddox thinks? Wait a minute. I want to ask you a couple of questions that it won't take long. I don't know anything else. Well, maybe you can give me the uh, name of some of Jane's friends. She didn't have any friends. Folks in a small town like this don't take up with a waitress much. You mean you never saw her talk to anybody but the people she worked with? Nobody I know of. Oh, the Maddox girl, Laura. That's Ted's sister. She come in here a time or two. She seemed friendly enough, I guess. In fact, I remember seeing her the night her brother was shot. You sure? Sure. We was carrying the body down to Doc's place, and she was standing right back there behind the crowd that was gathering. Did you talk to her? No. She just stood there watching. I thought it was kind of funny she didn't cry or carry on over her brother. I guess she was too shocked to move. Yeah, I guess she was. Well, thanks for the information. I'll drop in and buy a drink before I leave town.
Say hello to George for me. See you next Friday, Miss Kaiser. What are you doing here? You think you ought to show yourself anywhere in town? Strangers have to be asked questions. I'm the one that's asking the questions, Doctor. Folks down at the saloon think I'm Jane Hopkins' cousin from back east and very anxious to find him. Told you we should have warned him. Warned me about what? They know that Jane is alive and somewhere in town. Jesse came here in the middle of the night. He pushed me around. He was going to hit my husband. I had to tell him she was brought Do here. Do they know where she is? No, I didn't tell him who you were or where you were hiding. I see. Doctor? I don't think Jane Hawkins is guilty, and the only way to prove it is to stir up a hornet's nest. Now, I'll admit I'm kind of grabbing at straws, but, well, there's evidence piling up against Laura Maddox in this killing. Laura Maddox? You think Laura did it? Well, I'll admit it's pretty thin, but she could have done it. I mean, the bartender saw her in town the night of the killing, and have you any idea why she should be here? I mean, that late at night? No, no, I, I wondered the same thing myself. What time was it when you saw her? Well, she came in to see Ted's body a little while after they brought it in. I didn't think much about it at the time, but for anybody to ride out to the Maddox Ranch and tell her about her brother, well, it just wasn't time. She had to be here when it happened. Please. We're in enough trouble already. So is Jane, Mrs. Hicks. The only trouble is I can't seem to find any reason why Laura would want to kill her brother. Well, I mean, she could have been shooting at Jane and Miss, but... Doctor, that's why I came to see you. Sometimes the doctor knows a lot more about his patients than just the state of their health. Yes, sometimes he does. What, please? Don't say any more. Evie. Evie, I don't blame you for what you've become. I blame myself. If I hadn't let Maddox scare me 25 years ago, we both might still be able to hold our heads up. We've been here about a week, and I found out how ruthless Ben Maddox was. His wife had just died. It seemed like he wanted everybody around him to be as bitter as he was. I packed to leave. He said that his town had to have a doctor. I could either stay or maybe get killed trying to leave. So I stayed. Look at us now. Look at us, Evie. We're still scared. I'm sorry for what I've done to you, Evie. But I want you to give me this chance to be a man again. It's for both of us. And for the whole town. The doctor will help you all he can, Mr. McCullough. Jane out of the way. Well, you might find it in there. He's not her cousin. Who do you think he is? Well, I think he's the one who found her and brought her in. I think he knows where she is. Why didn't you force it out of him? Well, he, uh... He had to drop on me. Thought that couldn't happen. That's why I hired you. It was before I knew who he was. He was behind me. Where are the boys? I got him turning the town upside down looking for Jane. They'll find her. 
You'd better go back in and see that they do. This thing's dragged out long enough. First thing you know, somebody will start feeling sorry for her and they'll try to help her. I don't want that to happen. Shouldn't leave your windows open. All right. If you're tricky enough to get in, say what's on your mind. Jane Hawkins. She murdered my son, and when I find her, I'm going to hang her. What else do you want to know? I want to know what you'll do if you find out that she's not uh, the one who did it. She did it, all right. And I thought while your men were in town, it was a good time to pay you a visit. I've got plenty more hands right here. I wouldn't call them just yet. You Jane's cousin? Didn't Jesse tell you? He didn't believe it. Doesn't matter. That's right, it doesn't. Your coming here isn't going to change anything for Jane Hawkins. Maybe not. I just wanted to get a good look at the king of Maddoxville. Why? I wanted to see if you're as bad as people say. What are you getting at? In the history books that I've read, they talk about two kinds of kings. The kind that are interested in themselves, and the kind that are interested in the good of their people. I'm wondering what kind of king you are. What difference does it make where your cousin is concerned? It might make a lot of difference. I'm convinced she killed my son, if that's what you mean. And I believe in an eye for an eye. And if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. A court of law might find that Jane Hawkins is innocent. Court of law is a waste of time. All right, what if I could prove it? I want the one who killed my boy. And that's all I want. If I tell you who that is, then Jane Hawkins goes free, right? You know where she is, don't you? You haven't answered my question. Will you work as hard to free the innocent as you will to hang the guilty? Why shouldn't I? Your word, Maddox. I want your word. All right, you've got it. But there's still a lot of proving to be done. All right. Where's your daughter? She's upstairs resting. What's she got to do with this? Would you mind calling her down? I heard voices and came downstairs. I've been listening. Perhaps you'd like to tell your father why you're so interested in our conversation. Oh, just a minute, McCullough. Why are you dragging my daughter into this? You told me I had some proving to do. Are you going to let me do it or not? What's she got to do with it? I think she knows who killed your son. She knows nothing of the kind. Yes, I do. It was Jane Hawkins. That's the way you talk about your friends? She was no friend of mine. Then why did you take the trouble to warn Jane that your father was getting suspicious about your brother seeing her? I didn't know such thing. I didn't know Ted was seeing her. So how could Laura have warned her? Made it up, I guess. You're lying. No, I'm not. You are. The bartender down at the saloon saw you. He won't lie to you, Maddox. He's too afraid to. And he knows about your other visits when Jane and your brother planned to get married secretly and you agreed to help them. Daddy, make him stop this. Don't you think if you know something about your brother's death, your father's got a right to hear it? Maddox, were you at home the night of the shooting? Yeah. Where was your daughter? She was upstairs in her bed. Was she? Ask her. I was here. Don't tell me. Tell your father. I was in bed. I wanted her to say that to you, Maddox. Because I want you to wonder why she lied. I want you to wonder 
so much that you'll take the time to find out the truth. What do you say the truth is, McCullough? She was seen in town that night by Doc Hicks and the bartender after midnight. Is that enough to make you wonder? Why did you do it, Laura? Daddy, you're not going to believe it. Why did you lie to me? Because she fired the shot that killed your son. I'm not saying she meant to. I think she was aiming at Jane. Why? Why? Jealousy. Jealousy? For her own brother? No, not of her brother. Of the man she loved who was not her brother. Ted Maddox. Where did you find that out? From Doc Hicks. He's through being afraid of you. How did you find out, Laura? In a trunk in the attic. The papers when you adopted me. I told Ted, but he still wanted Jane. I loved him so much. I couldn't let her have it. My hand shook so. The shot went. I killed him. I killed him. Forgive me. I, I, I didn't mean it. Please. It's all right, baby. It's all right. You ready to keep your word? No. I didn't think you would. As far as I'm concerned, my boy is dead because of Jane Hawkins, whether she pulled the trigger or not. I see. Well, at least we know what kind of a king you are, don't we? This is my land, McCullough. It's all I had left when my wife died, my land and my boy. I built an empire for him. I kept it an empire by ruling it. I gave the people no freedom to bring in law, because with it they would have grown and prospered and expanded. They would have organized and voted. They would have let others in. My empire would have dwindled. Now all I've got left, my land and my, my daughter. And she is my daughter, even though she was born of a widow of one of my hands who died at childbirth. She's my daughter, McCullough. My empire is hers. Your empire is crumbling. One man has defied you and others are going to follow. They won't stand for this. And I'm going to make sure they know about it. If I had a gun, I'd kill you now. Because others will have to die if you don't. If I were your kind, I'd have killed you when you walked in the door. And thrown law to the people of this town. But then she'd have paid for your crime as well as her own. The people of this town have got to earn their freedom. And I think they will. Not as long as I live. You'll live long enough to see everything you stand for fall apart. Laura, get the boys together. We're going into town. Our town.
Flint. I know. Jesse and his men found her. They got her over at the saloon. Is she all right? Yeah, she's all right, I think. They're waiting for Ben. Sent a rider out to find him. They're gonna hang her, Flint, as soon as Ben gets here. I should have killed him when I had the chance. You saw Ben? I just left. Laura admitted that she killed her brother, but Maddox still blames Jane, wants to see her hang. We've got to get Jane right now. I said we've got to get Jane now. Jesse's got a dozen guns behind him, Flint. There'll be a dozen more if you wait for Maddox. How can we stand up against them? I thought you'd had a change of heart, Doctor. I thought you were through being afraid. I have had a change of heart. I, I'm going to clear out of Maddoxville first chance I get, but I'm not going to commit suicide before I get that chance. I see. All right, what about the rest of you? Maddox was sure right about you people. He said you wouldn't have the guts to stand up and face him, and he was sure right. And that's all it would take, you know, is guts to stand up and fight him just once, and you'll never have a better reason than you've got right now. Jane Hawkins is going to die for something she didn't do, and you're the only people that can save her. But what's more important, you can save yourselves. Now, you've all got guns. Go get them. It's fine for you to talk, mister. You don't have to live here. If you're the kind of a neighbor I'd have to count on, mister, I'm glad I don't live here. We've got families to protect. Is this the way you protect them? I want no part of any shooting. I'm going back to my store. Looks like the boys broke up their little meeting and decided to mind their own business. Jesse, you reckon I could fix something to make Jane more comfortable? She ought to be lying down. Well, don't make much difference how she feels now. In a little while, it ain't gonna hurt a bit. What are you gonna do? I promised Jane I'd look after her. Oh, wait, Flint. You can't do it alone. Then help me, Doctor. a fool to go out there all alone. All right, the rest of you. Go on out there and finish him. Tech, stay behind and watch the girl.
drop it. Jesse! Has he changed your mind? Sorry we didn't come sooner, Flint. We may not be through with this yet. You better have a look at Jane. I'll, uh, I'll take care of this out here. The rest of you get into your stores, but keep your guns ready. Matters could be here at any minute. But no shooting unless you get the word from me. down and you stay this way it's all over thank you jane laura admitted her guilt if we beat maddox she's gonna go to trial for it and that means you're free you're free to leave here if you want to i wouldn't blame you if you did This is my home, too. Here he comes. Here comes Ben Maddox. Take a good look around, Maddox. You recognize your men? And before you make a move, I look at the buildings. There's a gun in every window, and it's pointed right at you. Put your guns away! This is my town. You'll only die trying to take it away from me. McCullough, this is your doings. Come out where I can see you. Fire that rifle and the first bullet from every gun in town is for you. And you men, the second one is for you. So unless you feel like dying for Ben Maddox, I turn around and ride out of here. Right now. Thank you. 
Clint. Did you get our beef? I sure did, Charlie. All you need. Clint, the major tells me that old Ben Maddox is pretty tough to do business with. Did you have any trouble? Oh, not too much. I think Maddox has changed quite a bit since the major saw him last. Did you see any pretty girls? Would you believe me, Charlie, if I told you not a single one? No, I wouldn't. Neither would I. Color, come back here, you young whippersnapper. Bill, I don't think it's fair. McCullough goes to town, he has all the fun. Then he comes back here and he won't even tell us about it. Say, you know something? There's no reason why I shouldn't be the scout once in a while. Oh. Anyway, I could learn how the other half of the world lives, couldn't I? There's no sense of me being cooped up on this wagon day in and day out, day after day. Cook it. Cook it. Cook it! Over a hot campfire all the time, too. 